All right, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> we are on to another box. This is box five of the case of sorcery that I pulled in. It's just luck, you know. The box was already had a tear in the wrapping. Not that I was going to save it anyway. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I have a tough time saving any sealed product. Uh, only a few things of sealed product from fresh flesh and blood that I've kept. It's been a, uh, I mean, a couple box, first edition boxes. I got one from each of the uh, first sets. I do have a sealed case of the third set, Crucible of War, that uh, for a year and a half at least now I've been able to avoid opening. So hoping. Uh, Hoping for the best with uh, with value wise on that case, but it's dropped a little bit in value. So just hanging on to it, just uh, keeping it more for the uh, nostalgia purposes. But into uh, like I said, into box five of this case, we are on the quest for me to complete my beta playset of foils. Um. When I started the the case, I was at about at about 200 cards that I needed. So um, I haven't I haven't sorted through all the foils that I've opened yet to confirm what uh, which ones were what I still needed and what I didn't need. So we'll, uh, I'll update those counts probably at some point in the uh, in the future or after this after this box or this case I'll, uh, I'll have an update on what I need and have a better handle on the total number that uh, that are still out there that I need I mean I know definitely this shield maidens and shield wall are some foils that I need those those have been pretty elusive to me uh, along with like uh, ordinaries couple ordinaries that I have not seen these sacred scarabs of all the boxes and cases whatever that I've opened zero so not gonna lie this case has been a little a little rough it's been <clears throat> oh one core so far has been the, uh, the the best hit. One foil unique, so I am hoping to see a little more out of this case in these in the last two boxes. But that's why we open. We open for the uh, the excitement, the enjoyment of uh, of the surprise. And what uh, what a case or what a box can hold. So, all right, no foils or uniques yet. I mentioned in most of my videos, you typically see out of this product seven seven uniques. And, and there we go, packed with the devil. There's that's that's a good hit for uh, for one. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, and this one actually looks really good. Centering looks really good. Corners are pretty good. I think the only uh, only issues. I mean, hell. That centering actually looks really, really good compared to a lot of the other cores that uh, that I've opened. Only, only thing. I mean, you got the little, the little flip on the back edge from the the cutting. Little small little ding in the corner there. If you can really see, oh, bump the camera. There you go. That little. Little little spot right there on the corner, but hey, overall, awesome, awesome. 
out of any of the power or the alchemy nine that I've opened. This is by far, by far oh, the most that I've opened of. Um, like so much, uh, I have a buddy, buddy of ours when, uh, when they were, or when the set was released, um, wow, that was in the same pack. <laughs> that was a awesome, awesome pack. When the set released, anyway, uh, a friend of ours asked for our t-shirt sizes and was like, all right, well, send him, send him the info on our t-shirt sizes and he uh, bought a bunch of t-shirts from uh, Melissa Benson's websites and brought them for us to choose. And I chose the Ruby Core as the shirt to, uh, to take. So, all right, there we go. If you're going to hit a foil unique, that's the, uh, that's the foil unique to hit. Um, or one of the foil uniques to hit. P-Stone is obviously a little better, but... And in my experience, when I've hit a foil core or foil ruby core, it is always followed by some other foil uh, Swiven Scout, but uh, it's always followed by some other big, unique foil hit. So hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here, but... Or at least uh, there have been other big hits. So hoping to see some uh, some cores. There we go. Two duels and a shifting sands in that pack. Not uh, not too shabby for the exceptional uh, sights. But... All right. I think that is Ruby Core number six for me in foil. not the most valuable out of all of the cores, but I mean, that guy will pay for the box. So the uh, Amethyst and I think Aquamarine seem to be the ones that, uh, that, that sell the best. The Onyx and Ruby are kind of in the same, in the same area. But man, all right. Reinvigorated for the uh, for the rest of this uh, this box and the final box of the case. Hell yes! All right, even a Grandmaster Wizard. There we go. I mean, it's it's an elite, but probably the best uh, the best elite you can open. So, and that makes three, four Grandmaster Wizards, I think, now in this case. Those are very very elusive. So I am not, can't complain about this case any longer. I could have uh, kept complaining about the case because it, uh, it was, it was pretty rough so far. Only one other unique foil. So seeing that core, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. All right. Um, so yeah, after, uh, after seeing that pool, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Subscribe, leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking of the videos. Uh, I do appreciate those of you that uh, that do comment, so those who are hitting the like button. More more people that hit the like button. More YouTube's algorithm pulls uh, pulls my videos in and shows them to other people that may not have seen my videos before. It only cost one. Yes! <laughs> All right. There we go. Ha. Ah, okay. All right. So these two pay for uh, two or three of these boxes of the case. If I was buying them, I, man, I'm just flying through these, not really paying attention. But All right. There we go. Finally. Finally. I mean... Two unique so far that uh, that are some of the better ones to hit. Like I said, I mean, you see the uh, you see a foil core, you usually see some 
some more hotness in the box. The Dome of Osiris. Come back down to earth a little bit. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I mean, like I said, you usually see uh, you usually see some good hits once you start hitting some foil cores or so uh, foil uh, foil alchemy cards. Nothing in the back in that one. So we've got three of our nine foils so far. We have three of our seven uniques. Can we uh, can we hit another foil unique and potentially see another foil uh, foil core? Can we hit a foil pea stone? I've opened one foil pea stone. If you haven't seen that video yet, I did uh, did get that on camera, get that recorded. So go back. I mean, it's uh, a couple a couple months ago, so you'll have to go back a couple months. But check out that video. Ultimate horror. Uh, that's been a reoccurring theme in this in this case. But still, Philosopher's Stone and Ruby Core. Can this box just keep getting better and better? We hope so. All right, Tadpole Pool. Another unique we haven't seen out of the case yet. So happy to see that we are seeing, seeing some more. Zephyrin airship. Looks like we got a foil in here. Heat ray. All right. Ordinary, but we'll take it. It's no foil core, but. At least, uh, at least we're seeing some positive value coming back in boxes in the case. Uh, looks like we got another another foil. Tide Naiads, Tragedy War Rewards. I don't know. Conqueror Worm. I don't I don't know if we've seen one of those. That doesn't ring a bell in this case. Tide Naiads. Alright, here we go. an exceptional. Uh, kind of talked about in other videos. Um, another foil, and I'm not going to lie, this looks like another Tide Nyads. Back-to-back -back packs the same. Court Jester. Yes. Back-to-back <laughs> uh, -back Tide Nyads in foil. Going on here. If we're gonna hit back-to-back -back foils, why couldn't it be back-to-back -back ruby cores? That uh, that would have been better. So what? We've got two, four, five uniques and two, four, six foils. So five more hits left in the box. And these dual sites are always hits anyway, too. So and. A summoning sphere. All right. I, I mean, I made the comment in the last video, or the last time I opened this, uh, second one out of the case. hadn't uh, hadn't seen too many summoning spheres. There weren't a lot out there, uh, like listed on TCG, and they were at like fifty bucks or something like that for one. And they dropped to like twenty as more started getting added and. I mean, well, quite frankly, they weren't selling. Um, it was 
50 bucks was a little high. And a craterize, elite. There we go. But uh, they, uh, they've come down quite a bit. I think they're probably around like 10, 15 bucks now, maybe. Something like that. But. Keeping the stars of the show available for everybody to see there. Disintegrate. And nothing. Still looking for two more uniques. Come on, let's... Uh, if we're going to duel up... All right, Cortez and Atheus. Too bad. So, kind of go right there with the packed and the keystone. So, we got one and one left. And zero and one. There's a Cerberus and Chains. Uh, and Poisonous Dagger. All right, well. That all kind of came clumped together quickly at the very end. Man, we still got like half a stack left. Can we uh, can we buck the odds and we buck the odds and get uh, get a little more out of these packs? We got two, four, six, seven packs left. Unmund Angler. Let's, uh, let's make this the best box I've ever opened and hit a curio. Right, now, the best box I've ever opened was the, uh, the foil pea stone. So, it's, uh, sorry, I'm just making some room here. Nightmare. And the Astral Alcazar. Curio hunting in these last few packs, because yeah, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep. Seven, so all right, some hounds. I think this is probably the most number of packs I've had left in a box when still searching for her. We can say that I've opened everything that uh, that I could have out of the box. Two packs left. Come on, let's uh, let's find. Let's find a huge hit in the form of a curio. No. Uh, and if you're still here, last pack. Whoops. Do appreciate uh, everybody watching the video. If you haven't yet, hit the like button. Subscribe. Leave me some comments. Those of you that are, well, not even opening, so I can for you to see. But yeah, do appreciate everybody that uh, that tunes into these videos. Uh, we're going to end it there, but boom. Finally, uh, finally seeing something worth it for. There. Just finally seeing something worth it in these boxes first box that wasn't uh wasn't upside down on ev so all right appreciate everybody watching again take it easy have a good night